College has been awarded a $3.4 million contract to train law enforcement on the prevention of cyber crimes over the next five years. Adam Goldstein is academic director at the Leahy Center for Cybersecurity and Digital Forensics. Thank you for being here. Why was Champlain College chosen to be part of this training program? Yeah, th th it's great to be here. And um, yeah, I mean, we've had a a long time program in digital forensics and um, cybersecurity going back, you know, 15 plus years when it was a very new field. And uh, the Leahy Center um, has been in existence for 10 years doing, you know, exactly this type of research and work. So, um, yeah, really just that that kind of depth of experience um, having our students work on these amazing projects. Um, you know, gives us uh, and lets us add a lot of value um, to, to support organizations out there like the Secret Service. Uh, what's the plan for the money and will that program be accessible to those students as well as law enforcement? Absolutely. So, um, yeah, at the Lady Center, we have over 100 undergrad students working on projects um, every semester. And this money is going towards um, kind of building and supporting what we refer to as a cyber range. So a cyber range is a training environment that allows us to kind of simulate cyber crimes, cyber attacks in a uh, controlled environment. And so we have our students building that range, maintaining that range, as well as developing the training scenarios. So they're learning a lot about you know, modern um, current cyber attacks and simulating them in the lab so that we can then turn around and train law enforcement and other investigators um, on these new attack techniques to improve defenses um, all over the country. How much urgency is there uh, to get something like this underway? Yeah, I mean, the demand is, is great. Um, you know, with, you know, everyone's, everyone's stressed, everyone is, dealing, you know, fending off attacks, uh, responding to attacks, uh, whether it's small organizations to critical infrastructure, um, law enforcement, you know, every every organization out there is dealing with this in some regard. So having this type of training environment where we can be flexible and current um, to train those law enforcement officers is, is really critical, as well as having our students um, really stay cutting edge and um, then being able to go out into the workforce with um, really up-to-date skills that are going to have them be contributing to cyber defense um, across the nation right away. Law enforcement today, as you know, covers such a large area of jurisdiction from mental health to cybersecurity. And in some departments in Vermont, like state police even, and the city of Burlington, you know, they're struggling to find enough officers. How do departments take advantage of this program? Yeah, so I think, you know, one of the things that, you know, contracts and the work that we've been doing at the Lay Center is we're, um, you know, allowing law enforcement to kind of maximize their their training um, so that they can focus on the work and the tasks at hand. You know, by having us, you know, kind of build and develop their training environments um, and working with organizations like the National Computer Forensic Institute, um, you know, we're really able to have efficient, meaningful training for those law enforcement officers so that they can um, take those skills and, and use them in the field right away with, you know, with a minimal amount of, of time and extra effort spent. Adam Goldstein, thank you. Be well. Yeah, thank you.